Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain mesh domain optimization in RF Pro and the benefits of using it. In the latest release of ADS 2025, it is now possible to view the mesh in mesh domain optimization applied on designs, which was not possible in earlier versions. So let's explore this feature with the help of a demo ex example. So what does mesh domain optimization mean? As the name suggests, it optimizes the mesh generated during an EM simulation. It is typically used when a user-defined net-based EM extraction is set up for a particular design. For example, in this particular multi-chip module assembly, let's say if I want to analyze and extract a net-based EM model for this input connector and the input trace, then I can use the net-based, I can use the mesh domain optimization feature. But how would it help me as comparison to if the this feature was not enabled? Without mesh domain optimization applied, the solver creates a mesh which is uh, typically uniform across the whole design even in a net-based EM extraction setup. This results in wastage of uh, computer resources and also takes longer for simulation. However, if you apply mesh domain optimization, the solver will create a mesh which is fine and as required for uh, the computation of the result in the area of interest while a coarse mesh will be created in the areas of the design or assembly far away from the area where net-based DM extraction is applied. This method enables faster simulations and also uses less memory on the computer. Let's visualize this using this particular example. So I have already set up user -based, two user-based uh, EM extractions, one with mesh domain optimization off and the other with mesh domain optimization on. On the RF input trace and the associated SMA connector. So for this entire path. I selected the required net from the net section in the design and added it to the nets in the analysis. And I also identified the component that was needed to be added in the path section. Then I defined the ports at the input and output of this entire uh, trace, starting at the edge of the connector to the end of the trace. The pins added at the end of the trace are created by, uh, by making virtual pins as defined here. So now we have the physical layout set up for EM simulations and we go into the EM settings by clicking on the options menu. So here we define the frequency and then select the FEM solver because we have the SMA connector uh, which is a full 3D component. Then if I go into the advanced settings of the solver, uh, you can observe that most of the settings are left to default with the mesh domain optimization off. When I run the simulation, let's observe what is the status of the simulation after the simulation is finished. You can see here that the uh, computation of the result uses about 11 GBs of memory on my computer and this simulation took 25 minutes to complete. Then I created an exactly same um, 
simulation setup but now in this case with mesh domain optimization on. To create a duplicate um, uh, analysis just right click on the name of the first analysis, go to copy and create to duplicate. This will help you uh, saving time on creating the entire simulation setup again. Uh, what you need to just do is make the required changes which in this case is going into the options menu simulator advanced settings of the simulator and switching the mesh domain optimization on we also uh, enable generation 2 for the solver it is important to note here that mesh domain optimization capability is available only in rf pro with gen 2 solver it is not available in the standard EM setup method of setting up EM simulations in ADS. Now with mesh domain optimization enabled, I ran the simulation and let's look at the simulation log. If we check the computational memory used, it's around 6 GBs, which is almost half of what was used in the mesh domain optimization of condition and if we look at the time uh, used for the simulation it's around 13 minutes again approximately half of the time of mesh domain of condition hence we benefit both in speed up of the simulation and also uh, lower consumption of the memory on the computer now let's also look at the results which means let's look at how the uh, mesh density is generated in both the case in the case of uh, mesh domain optimization off and on so if i go back to the analysis and to the results section i can double click on the mesh option to view how the mesh is generated when there is no mesh domain optimization applied. As you can see here, it's quite a dense mesh that is created. From the bottom right menu, you can also enable or disable the different materials where you want to view uh, the mesh generated. Let's unload this result and go to the second analysis where the mesh domain optimization has been enabled and view the mesh and observe the differences. Now you can see that apart from the area where the net based EM extraction was defined, other parts of the assembly are uh, coarsely meshed. This is what really helps in reducing um, the amount of memory used in computation of results and also speeds up the simulation. Let's unload this result. Another question that comes up is how about the accuracy of results after applying mesh domain optimization? To verify that, let's compare the S parameter results for both the cases. To do that, I choose both the analysis, right click on them and click on show as parameter results. This opens up the results window with the S parameter graph and the S matrix. From here, I have selected the transmission parameter S21 and currently we are looking at the mesh domain optimization of condition result. I'm going to enable the mesh domain optimization on result to see the comparison. As you can see, uh, the results quite closely match. Hence, it can be concluded that mesh domain optimization is not deviating the output results from the actual full simulation. So, we have seen that using mesh domain optimization feature in RF Pro for net-based EM extractions 
makes your EM simulations faster um, and memory efficient and help you in creating a faster analysis of your designs without making much of a compromise on the accuracy of the results. Hope this video helped you understand mesh domain optimization feature in RF Pro better and it will help you in your future designs. Thank you.